Welcome back to MLB Tonight. I'm Robert Flores here alongside former GM Dan O'Dowd and baseball mm -hmm. researcher Sarah Langs. The MLB Draft Combine is coming up. It's always an exciting time. Dan, what, do, what can we expect? What are you most looking Welcome to day Sour BP started now, and uh, this is where the scouts really, really bear down. They're looking at presence in the box. They're looking at the balance rhythm and timing of the swing. They're looking at how clean a swing path is. They're looking how connected a player can be to a swing. And they're looking at the ability if they can hit the ball the entire field. And there's so much data that comes along with BP. We've got exit velocity, which means we can look at how often the player is hitting the ball hard. In this day and age, hitting the ball hard has an actual definition. That's 95 plus miles an hour. And why do we care about that? Because in today's game, if you hit the ball hard, you're going to hit about 500 on those batting balls with a 1,000 slugging percent. Another stat we'll look at is launch angle, and what we define as a sweet spot batter ball is 8 to 32 degrees of launch angle, basically a line drive. So I'll be looking at how often these players will be making that kind of contact as well. You know, I think about big league players like uh, Alvarez, Judge, Otani, Trout, um, their hard hit ball bat is crazy. Their launch angles are very, very, very consistent. And you add all the things that we're evaluating, and think about, Sarah, the pressure these young players are under right now. It's probably the most pressure-packed BP these players have ever taken in their careers. So we're now into outfield play. Uh, this is kind of one of my favorite parts of the combine. Um, scouts look at this from a variety of different perspectives. They're looking at breaks and angle to the ball, um, which is crucial uh, for above average defensive play. This part of the drill, we're looking at how, how quickly they get to the ball, how under control they are, and the strength of their throws and the accuracy of the throw. Deep down scouting perspective, they're really trying to see the spin on the ball how clean it is, and so they can get that one-hop throw into third base and home play. No, I'm with you. I'm loving this. There's so many different ways to evaluate outfield defense in today's game. Of course, we can measure that arm strength. We can look at that accuracy of those throws, as you were saying. We can also measure speed, which is such an important part of playing the outfield. If you're not fast enough in the outfield to get to that ball, Everything else is moot, so we can really measure all different aspects of playing the outfield. And when you, you look at some of these players, and then you think about the great right fielders, which is the arm strength position in our game, you the Mika Cunha, and you think about Tatis, you think about Kyle Tucker, Jason Hayward for a long period of time. And Sarah, pay particular attention now how they're making the outfielders move to the ball. They're trying to really see body movement and body awareness and how under control they are athletically when they go to execute this particular skill. Well, as you said, right field is indeed the premier arm strength position in today's game, and I've gotten a number of you on that. In 2023, right fielders had an average max effort arm strength of 90.9 miles an hour. That means the top 10% of all right fielders throws average almost 91 miles an hour. That's really incredible to think about. If you think about it in a game, when you're trying to build a complete roster, part of it is your defensive acumen. So when you have corner outfielders in particular that can really shut down a runny game, that means it changes the whole dynamic of positioning from a competitive standpoint. And so these little simple drills, scouts are now projecting how those players will affect their ability to put that kind of defensive team on the field at the major league level.
above average. Uh, good instincts to bat off the ball, took good routes to the ball. Not that explosive, can get better in that area. Arm strength, solid average, not plus, very, very accurate. Should be a solid defender in professional baseball. Home run! Booyah! from Chase Field in Phoenix. Ready to go. go and Mario. now, Joaquim Quiros. She strides confidently into the batter's box. Right to look at her, you'd Square never up. know the intense pressure she must be feeling. That's ripped, base hit. Around first and heading for second. Here comes the throw. Into second safely, it's a leadoff yeah, double driving. to start Back the game. Ahead. Now the left fielder, Craig Zito. Got a hold right here, let's go. The 01. Swing and a high fly to left. Hollander gets there under it. 
And now the runner's tagging for third. And makes it up to third with one away. Hey, runner in third with one gone in the inning. Walter Bake will hit next. Popped up. Moves under it. Pulls it down. And next, the cleanup yeah, hitter, yeah, Samuel Chacon. Gets it by him for the strikeout. So one. Here's the cap. Eddie Sosa. Two outs and nobody aboard. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. He turns and heads for second. Starts the afternoon off right with a double. Hey, we got no outs. Hey, one time, right now. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Around second on his way to third. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. Here's the left fielder, Craig Zito. Your pitch right here. Let's go, bud. The 0-1 from the lefty. Swing, high fly, down the right field line. Makes the catch. Both runners tagging from second and third, and they'll score first. It's one zip. One down. Right here, one Walter down. Bake, the next to hit. Hey, we got one here. Here comes the 0 1. On the ground to the left, Logan. Whips it to first, but a run comes in to score. Hey, hey two right here. Come on, one. Man. Hey, let's go, kid. One time, right here. Crushes this one to left and forget about it. That is a no doubt home run. And they throw a pair on the board. It's six to two. Always helps to pad the lead, and they did it. And you guys know one better. Let's go. Hard hit left field for a base nice knock. Round go. second headed for third. Headed for the plate. The run scores all the way from first. It's seven to three. One out, runner at second base. Stepping in, Craig Zito. Runner! And they got the runner. Batting order turns hey, over. Now it's the right fielder, Joaquim Quiroz. Hit hard on a line. And now two down. One out and two on. Now at the plate, Robbie Leary. Here's the 0-1 pitch. Base hit. Coming around third. Now a long throw home. In there as a run scores. The batter now, Robbie Leary. 
Bottom of the ninth, down one, and the potential tying run at second base. And it's through for a hit. Coming to the plate. The relay, the tag, out. Not sure if it was a game one of the MLB Draft Combine is over, and what an array of talent we've witnessed today, with many players leaving a lasting impression on scouts and fans. It's day three of the MLB Draft Combine here in Arizona. And now the right fielder, Joaquim Quiroz. Okay, and the pitch. Line, and that's hey, a base nice knock. Go. Runner on base to start the inning. So digging in, Craig Zito. Two, huh? Runner. Kick the pitch. Runner goes. Raditz goes to second for one. Yeah, you're out. On to first. Double out. play. Bases are empty with two away. Hey, Next to hit, Grover Lyon. Lace down the line. Could be extra bases. Around first, hustling for two. Starts the afternoon off right with a double. Hey, have a rip like you can. Here you go. Line drive, the leap, got it. What a sensational leaping play on the infield. That saved. All set for the bottom of the third. Here's the shortstop at the plate. Andres Rodriguez. Fly ball down the line. And that's a fair ball. He turns and heads for second. Chance at a three-bagger. Not in time. He's safe. Now it's the right fielder, Cyrus Enfield. The 0-1. Cranked out to right center. Makes the grab. Runner tags at second. The relay throw. And he's safe. Hey! So it's first and third with one down. Hey, come on. Now one time right here. Key Rose, just 21 years old. And she was born in Puerto Rico. This one to right. Enfield. Drop step. Heads back on it. Pulls it down. So with a runner at second and one away, Ernest Morales digs in now. 0-2, rocks and fires. Line drive, and that's a base hit into right. Around third. The run comes in from second. It's 2-0. Around second now, and they still don't have it. And in safely at third as a run scores. 
Batting order turns over. And now the right fielder, Joaquim Quiroz. One for three. Now a fly ball to right center. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's one away. Hello and welcome to... All right, ready to go easy, here. Easy, now it's the right now. fielder, Joaquim Quiroz. Wines, kicks, here's the pitch. It's this one to fairly deep center field. Tracks it down for the out. And there's one down. Back here in the desert, bottom half of inning number two. And now the right fielder, William Schaefer. Fly ball down the line. And it stays fair. Makes the turn, heads for second base. The throw in starts the afternoon off right with a double. One out. We got one. Let's go, kid. Come on, one time right here. Center field. Two down. Back here at Chase Field, and now it's going to be Bryant Clay. The 0-1. Line, and that's a base hit. Around first and heading for second. Into second now with nobody out. And now, Ernest Zuniga. The 0-1 offering. Lifted in the air, right field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Headed for the plate. Here comes the throw. And he's out. That's about as good. Hey, come on now. Here we go. These tournament games are, of course, just a part of the larger picture hey, here at the Combine. Here. Drills and assessments measure each player's fitness, this one swung on, here, hit very well, here. way back there. And it's gone, home run. Made the hurdler pay for that one, and this game is tied. It's three. Batting order hey, turns right over. Joaquim Quiroz getting ready to hit. She's already homered in this ball game. Mashes this one deep to left. This one on its way, and gone. Blasted that one out of here. Did it again. Home run number. Hey, clutch up. Next up, the designated hitter, Bryant Clay. 
tying run waits at the plate. In the air to the right. It falls in. Coming around third. Fires it to the plate. Safe. He scores, and it's a one-run game. Here we go. No one better. Use us. Come on. We got you. That one fouled off. No one out now. Hey, big moment. We need you. Here we go. And the 0-1 now. Line drive. Hey, That's sure. a That's base a knock out into center field. Here's the throw to the plate. Not in time. Right. Runner safe. Here. And a run comes in to score. Here's the left fielder, Craig right, Zito. Down. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. To third, might be two. To second for one. That's an out. Double play, and that'll do it for the inning. They get a run. That concludes this year's MLB Draft Combine. As always, it was a pleasure watching these young talents get a chance to showcase their skills and boost their draft stock. The barriers we saw broken were definitely an added bonus, and I cannot wait to see what the future holds, both for these players and our sport. With the 17th pick of the fifth round, the New York Yankees select the right fielder from the international region.
With the 15th pick in the sixth round, the Toronto Blue Jays select Mia Lewis, a starting pitcher from the International Legion. So that concludes this year's first. Hello.